Hi everyone, just filming continuing the series on the Dafyomi. What a special place actually. I'm actually in the Merseyside by the sea, the port of Liverpool, a city here in London, in England, the famous place of the Beatles over here. As you can see the famous uh, clock towers over here and the famous gorgeous view over here. Just want to share something within regards to Dafyomi. We know that the most sp uh, spectacular uh, place in the whole world is the Bet HaMikdash. We know that it's a temple or the Bet HaMikdash, where Hashem's Shekhina rests on. No coincidence I'm talking about spectacular places. It's also a landmark place in the whole world also. However, there was different Kalim inside the Bet HaMikdash, inside the temple. And one of it was called the Shulchan. What is the Shulchan? It was the table where the bread was put on. The Lechem HaPanim. Friends, what is the Lechem HaPanim? It was the most freshest, delicious bread that was displayed on the table in the Bet HaMikdash. Even a little bit of it that was eaten would satiate anybody over there inside the Better Mikdash. It was, it was the most delicious food over there. And the Better Mikdash is the centre, it's a microcosm of every single Jewish person. It's something we yearn for, the rebuilding of the third Better Mikdash. You know, the first and second temples stood for 410 and 420 years respectively throughout the different areas, eras. It was King Solomon actually, Shlomo Habelech, that actually built the first Bet HaMikdash, the first temple. The second temple was destroyed by the Romans, as we learned more than 2,000 years ago, which we commemorate on Tishba, which we just came out of two months ago in the middle of, in the uh, start of Rosh Chodesh uh, over here. So today's Talmud is actually, Gemara is actually relating all over with regards to Lechem Apanim, with regards to showbread of the Beta Mikdash, and we actually learn all about the Kalim of the Beta Mikdash in the Parashiot at the end of Sefer Shemot, or Parashat Truma and Tetzaveh, and also it's featured again in Vayakel Ab Kudem, which is uh, very interesting. I recommend everyone the Beta Mikdash by the books with regards to the temple, which shows all the different pictures of all the different golden uh, golden items inside the temple, the silver item, how actually there was, there's pictures from reliable Orthodox bookstores, Jewish bookstores, within regards to all the Caliph, the vessels that were inside the Bet HaMikdash, and all the beautiful things. It also would feature, with regards to high priests, all the different vestments, eight, four vestments, respectively, whether it's a Kohen Gadol or a Kohen also. So, very interesting insight, a very interesting duff today here in the Gemara. I'm wishing you all a fantastic day here live. I'll leave you some scenes here of the Liverpool Mersey over here. Check it out. It's absolutely stunning over here. You see all the sea over here. Incredible uh, views also of Israel's Mersey. Famous clock tower over here. And keep up learning the tidbits of the Dafyomi of Mesechet Kiddushin. We are in page 53, friends. Take care. I'd like to dedicate this Lurin Nishma Ben Yamin Ben Mordechai. It would have been his 42nd birthday this week. And please do acts of kindness in his memory. So have an awesome day and take care.